we're, we are drawing closer to Sokolov's house. Hmm. Yeah, still a shanty. Even yep. I thought this was a rich, uh, rich person district. Yeah, it's, it is, but even, as we saw with, like, like the art dealer guy's house, even the rich are no longer immune. That's true. You can hear the telltale evil humming of something magical. This level's a little confusing the first time through, because you go through, or not so much confusing, it's just sort of, well, yeah, confusing, because there's a series of areas you have to go through, right? And... And the exit from each area to the next one, it just says Sokolov's house. So the first couple times playing through this, I thought, oh, I'm almost at Sokolov's house. And, oh, wait, no, it's another area. Now I'm almost at Sokolov. Oh, no, it's another area. Nope. Okay. Now I'm almost. Just continual teases. <laughs> it is. They just blew the doors right off these places. Interesting. Oh yeah, I actually, I experimented with Wind Blast to see if I could knock this over, but it, it doesn't work. As you can see. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. The Void is no match for furniture, I'm afraid. Outsider's eyes, it... It just won't move. <laughs> that board, screw that thing. I mean, that didn't accomplish anything, but... I, f I certainly feel better. Some very ni very beautiful sun sunset effects there. Everything's all nice and gold and autumny looking. But oh, look at that! There's some people behind a wall of light. Excellent. I wonder what they could be doing here. Spending their last moments not living. Before not living. Damn it. Now you've confused. Now you've lost me, Nick. Yes. Spending their last moments before they die. Okay. Now this di dialogue the guards are having, and d even when I was playing Low Chaos, when I was being Good Guy Corvo, in this mm. section I actually did kill the guards. Hmm. Because. Oh. Obviously, it's because yeah. the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame, though. Like that woman the other day. She was easy to look at. Seemed nice enough. Shame she has to die. I mean, I'm so horrible by two. Now you listen to me. It's none of our concern the how or why of things. Like a lot of the other guards, they're just like regular Joes doing their jobs. These guys apparently know that they're... They know that there's horrible, inhuman experiments going on here. And they're apparently okay with that, so... Even when I was playing good guy Corvo, I killed these dudes. It felt good, because I hadn't d gotten to do much killing, you know? Yeah. Let those urges out. Oop, secret stash tip. Note? Yeah, secret stash tip. This is one of those things I... There's a fairly extensive amount of wandering I did that, sadly, you viewers at home will not get to see because it's boring and pointless. Where I tried to I tried to find this stash spoken of in the letter. I'm sure there's an easy way to do it, and I'm just a. I was I, I probably considering how much I combed there. I probably there's some really obvious thing I just kept missing or something. But missed it, I did. <laughs> Luckily, you'll be spared most of that. Nice little detail, like all those birds circling up there. Yeah. You think that's, like, part of the skybox, or...? That's a good question, actually. Yeah, I don't know if those are actual... They actually exist in game, or if they're part of the sky... I don't recall those white birds. I don't recall any situations where you can interact with them, so they might just be part of the skybox. Mm. But, like I said, I'm not certain. So... When was the last time you, uh, you broke the skybox? What, in a game? Yeah. I... 
can't recall off the top of my head. What about you? Um, it was Knights of the Old Republic. The original? Yep. What happened? Uh, they left the debug code in on the console version. <laughs> you, you just press uh, the triggers and then click both of the sticks at the same time and you've got free camera. You can just fly everywhere. Okay. So then your, so you, your disembodied shade then flew beyond the bounds of space and time. Yes. You can see it passes the skybox and it kind of just ruins the illusion of the game for you. What's on the other side? Just the maddening infinite void or... Ah, oh, check that out. Boards. Ah. They were boards. There's got to be a more efficient way to get through them, you'd think, than shooting them one by one. The wind? Perhaps. Find out. Yeah, the wind the wind blast actually has a pretty has a pretty respectable range. Huh. And that's like that's the low powered version too, so. Nice. Got a picture of the Empress there. Big fan of hers, I guess. Alright, bone charm. Three bone charms of three. What kind of charm is this? Sca scavenger. Find ammo in greater amounts. Which I don't have that much need for, because as you said, I'm generally... I generally have more ammo than I know what to do with. As long as you're judicious with it, ammo isn't a problem. The only thing that you that I, that I might be really an issue is if you're doing a non-lethal playthrough, uh, sleep bolts. Not like knockout bolts might be, um... It, you might be in short, sort of short supply, because... If you're playing non-lethal, that's the only projectile weapon you can actually use. Hmm. You could just collect the rest of them and sell them, I guess, for the cash. I don't think you can sell ammo in this game. I think, basically, your only selling power is limited to your ability to just transmute things into money on physical contact. Makes me wonder how he just holds that sword. Maybe it's worthless. Oh yeah, well, we discussed this about those gloves he was wearing earlier. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, we theorized that the uh the, ha the yeah, the handle of the sword must be made of some sort of special specially designed zero value material. <laughs> Although the fact that it makes it useful for him to use with his powers it would itself you'd make it valuable, you'd think. It's a conundrum. It is. Wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in an enigma. Oh. oh. Here they come. Nice. I'm eschewing subtlety at the moment. As you can see. Just fire a couple oh. times into the air. Now, I don't have the reflexes for it, but... Er, when they throw grenades... No, there's overseers as well. He got ahead of himself. I'm sorry. The, uh, those grenades, if you use the wind blast quickly enough, you can actually launch, throw grenades back at them before they detonate. Oh, nice. Yeah, so now those alarms are going off. So it's like the force push. <sighs> it is, but yeah, it is kind of the force push, except really imprecise. <laughs> but I do mostly use it for chucking people into chasms in this, so it is basically force push. There's this painting just sitting out here in the open. Aha! Excellent. Now, is there a certain number of tries, or could you brute force that lock? As f as far as I know, you can just brute force it if you if you don't mind working through a potentially you know a thousand combinations. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any limit. I don't think it ever like makes stops you from trying again. Hmm. That's a good question, though. I don't suppose it randomly generates the combination every time. No, or at least most of them. I know most of them it doesn't. Okay. Like the, uh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I imagine it would be too, it would be pretty yeah. difficult to render and cause, a different... Because then you'd have to, you'd need new clues as well. Alright. Yes. Alright, now I depowered the uh, wall of light there. But I kind of screwed up because they run into, they, they run afoul of a guard. Oh, and she's... Down he goes. Oops. 
<laughs> Poor plague victim. Well, yeah, I, I saved 50% of them. If I, was a pro, if I was a pro baseball player and I had a .500 average, I would be the greatest player of all time. Which says something about baseball, I suppose. <laughs> but but I, I actually felt kind of bad about that, so I started, I started to reload to save them both properly. And I just I left that in for this video just because... Well, you can't get enough shots of me just slicing a man's head clean off in a battle, so... <laughs> Bamf. Oh! Now... I... I tail it out of here. More of that blood from the eyes graffiti. <laughs> you know, as you talk about, you know, the... The overseers, they will, like, quote, like, the strictures to themselves. You know, remember, like, Restless Hands being one of the seven strictures? Remember the... Oh! Nice. That is a pretty accurate little wheel lock. It is. It's lubricated with whale with whale oil suffering, so it, it it's more effective. Excellent. That's my. I don't I think. even need to rifle it. <laughs> no, just just pour raw. Just pour raw pain directly onto the moving raw parts. Just like in real life. What do you hear when he when you turn on dark vision? I'm not sure. It's it, it's. I mean, it's it's a voice, hmm. but it's. I don't know if it's actually saying something. And I just can't like quite make it out or what. But it's some creepy voice. I thought it was saying something about dice, but now I'm almost positive it's saying something about eyes. Well, that would make sense. Yes. I don't know. Maybe like the intonation is like it's saying something about eyes, but the intonation is screwed up, so you can't really understand it normally. You know, puts the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Do you know what movie that's from? Not off the top of my head. View from the top. I've never seen that. I picked it up. Out. I picked it up second hand, I guess. <laughs> that's good, because the movie's crap. Okay. It's about uh, airline stewardesses. Mike Myers has like a 20-minute part in that. Really? Is he a stewardess? Yeah, no, yeah, he trains them, and that's where, that's where the line come from, comes from. He's training them to sp uh, speak. Enunciate. And, um, well, one of the girls says, uh, mistakes the word assess for asses. Okay. And then he tells her she's putting the, ro the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Oh, okay. He's got a funny eye, too. And he keeps, he keeps telling everybody, like, he constantly switches which eye is his good eye. So everybody's always confused. Spring, spring razor. Oh, there you go. I, I, I'm not good at planning my spring razor setups in advance, so I, I often end up getting caught like a, on the fringe of it myself. You notice he's wearing like a plague mask or something. Yes. Well, he took that first bullet like a champ. Yeah. He actually had a steel plate installed in his head from a from when he was shot by a previous intruder. So. <laughs> oh, it only worked once. Yeah, you'd expect the royal painter and physician and like scientist to work in a nicer live in a nicer neighborhood, but there aren't many nice neighborhoods left in Dunwall at this point. I wonder if he's just like Krieger, though. Krieger from uh, Archer. Well, it is. There's also he kind he wa Sokolov values his privacy also. Right. Because he's doing these horrible experiments. He's remember the remember the uh, the outsider mentioned some unspecified disgusting rituals he partakes in to try to summon the outsider. Yes. So he might be performing like you know horrible blasphemous sacrifices. Who knows? <laughs> 